In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Home Assistant and make sure you're running the latest version. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. I've got a nice informative video for you today, so let's get straight into it. With the recent security disclosures by Home Assistant, I've had a lot of new Home Assistant users messaging me asking how they can update and check that their Home Assistant is running the latest version. If you have no idea what these security disclosures are, there'll be a link in the top right giving you a bit of information about that and there'll also be links in the description of the official Home Assistant blog post that tell you all about the security disclosure. So there's a couple of ways you can check what version you're running and what the latest version is. So to start with, we're going to come here to the supervisor menu item, give that a click and straight away we can see that there's an update available. There's a big card here that tells us what the latest version is. And there's also a release notes link there that we can click if we want to see more information about it. So in that card, you can see the version we're running, which is currently 2021.1.1. And the latest version is 2021.1.5. So we could just hit update straight here and that will do the update for us. If we want to know anything about that update, we can click the release notes and see what's new in this version. The other way we can check our version is along the top bar here. There's a section for system. If you just click that. So in the system tab, there's a whole bunch of information here about Home Assistant. Now the part we care about for this video is these two top sections, Core and Supervisor. Now in Core, we can see our version and the newest version. Next to the newest version, there's a little blue update button. And that's obviously because there's an update available. But if we look in Supervisor, we can see that version and the newest version. They both match, so there's no button. So nice and simple, button if there's an update, no button if there's not. And obviously you can match the version numbers to see if you are the same. So we could either click update here or we could update back from that supervisor menu just there. For this video, we're going to just update from here. So when we hit that update button, we get a little pop up to ask us to confirm that we want to update. So we're just going to click update now. You'll see that little spinning wheel and it's going to take a few minutes now for Home Assistant to download the update and then run through the update. While this is doing its thing, it's best to just leave it. You can carry on clicking through your menus and accessing your stuff. But once that update's done, it's going to restart and it's going to kick you out of whatever you're doing. So you don't want to be caught in the middle of creating an automation or writing a script or something. So I should just point out as well, we're currently updating the Home Assistant core. If there was an update for the Home Assistant supervisor, which we also saw in that other menu, that would also show up here as well. So you can update both the core and the supervisor from this screen and also from the system screen. So we can see now we've got the connection lost in the bottom left corner. That's because Home Assistant's carrying on with this update and it's just restarting. So just leave that again for another second. Now, depending on what the update is and what it does will affect how long it takes for the update to go through. So don't be too eager and in a hurry to just suddenly unplug your Home Assistant or reboot it. That connecting icon's disappeared from the bottom left now. So Home Assistant's restarted now and it's ready to go. On the page run now, the supervisor dashboard, we can see that that card's disappeared to say that there's an update. So if we head over to the system on the top bar here, we can now see that we're running version 2021.1.5, which is the latest version. And you can see here that that version matches up with the newest version. There we are guys. That was a nice simple way to check the version of Home Assistant you're running and two different entry points you can use to update your Home Assistant. If this video has helped you out, then drop me a like. If you're new here, then press that subscribe button below. And if you press the little notification bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I create a new video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.